In this video, let's take a look at the steps required to create a simple walkthrough for our conceptual massing. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to come up here to our quick access toolbar, click my drop down, and walkthrough is accessible through here, as well as on our view tab. The drop down is available for 3D view here as well. It's your preference. Now that we're in our walkthrough, we're going to begin to create the path. What Revit essentially is doing is creating a path of cameras and connecting them. So I'm just going to start out here in maybe the courtyard area, heading towards the building. And this is one of those tools you're going to have to play around with a little bit just to get a sense of how many times you may need to click when you decide to make a turn. You'll need a couple extra key frame locations. And even though we don't have doors, I'll pretend as though I'm going to come in the building here. Maybe I'll exit out my unit A. Continue to walk around the building here. Now one thing I'm actually going to do for my next point is I'm actually going to come to my options bar and begin to elevate. So I would like to just have an overall look back down at the building. So I'm actually going to move up to about level 4 now. Then I'm going to come back here again and go all the way up to the top. Maybe I can kind of look down over the spine and I'll have to adjust these cameras looking back at the building. I'm going to click finish to finish this walkthrough. Now my path has been established. At this point you'll see on the project browser if you come down there's been a walkthroughs category now created. I'll click that drop down and I can actually rename this conceptual walk around. I'm going to click OK for that. Now in order to edit this, I'm actually going to double click on that view. Which is going to bring me into my view for my for my walkthrough. I'm going to expand this a little bit. And actually what you're going to need to do when you first come into this walkthrough view, not sure why Revit generates the view this way, but it's actually focused on our last keyframe. So I'm going to select the border, come to edit walkthrough, and now my options bar you'll see we're at frame 300 out of 300. So I'm going to change this to frame number one to take me back to the beginning. My view is still blank because we have yet to adjust the cameras. So let's do that. I'm going to come back up to my level one floor plan. And if by chance your camera path is not selected as mine is, I'll just select in space and deselect it. Remember this walkthrough works very similar to a regular camera view. So I'm just going to come down to walkthrough, conceptual walk around that we just renamed. Right click for show camera. Now my path is available again. Now I'm going to come over here and select edit walkthrough. When I hit edit walkthrough from my plan view, you'll see that this menu for walkthrough actually shows up and we can go from frame to frame, but you'll want to edit your keyframes. So if you see right here, each of these red dots are where I clicked along the path as we were creating this walkthrough. And as I begin to 
press the button for next key frame, the, it's going to navigate between those red dots that are actually represent, representative of our key frames along the path. And those are what we're going to want to change. So I'm just going to go back to frame one. Hit my edit walkthrough. And we don't see the building at the beginning because we have to remember this is similar to a camera. We're going to have to extend our view beyond the building or what it is we want to see. As well as turn the view if we're interested in that. Then I'm going to come to my next keyframe and continue to repeat this process to make sure I'm seeing what I would like to be faced towards and as far as I would like to see by controlling this camera extent. So maybe I do want to look back at the building that way you can see that I'm kind of walking along the building not looking into space since we have yet to create the site elements that would exist for this design. So you see, to make the walkthrough look more realistic, we're definitely going to have to go through keyframe by keyframe and manipulate the view. actually towards the end of the path where I elevated the view of my walkthrough I'm going to begin to turn entirely around and look back at the structure and then we're going to play this and just have a look and see how it looks there's a lot of back and forth that many times will happen as you're setting up a walkthrough. And I'm going to make sure my last camera extends well beyond the entire footprint so that I see the entire camera. Let's click back on this walkthrough. Let's go to edit. Go back to our first frame. Now I'm just going to adjust the extents of this view to make sure we're capturing everything that we want to see.
Now we're done editing it. I'm just going to play this. And let's just have a look at what, we, what we've created. So now you can see we're kind of walking around the building. We haven't created the storefront yet, but we're entering. Just kind of looking out at the site, turning back towards our building once again. Now you'll see I'm kind of above the building. And there we are. If I would like to see my shade and shadow, I'll be coming back to down to my view control bar. Turn those shade and shadows on. And if we start this walkthrough again, we'll be able to see the shade and shadow that would appear on the exterior and the interior of the building. I hope this walkthrough video has been helpful.